in news coming out of Paris, where the climate change meeting is taking place, the Bahamas Prime Minister, Perry Christie, is warning that unless urgent actions are taken to reverse the devastating impacts of climate change, the Bahamas as we know it might soon be no more. The Bahamas is now more vulnerable to climate change than in the history of our country. Already, where the global rise in temperature of less than one degree, we are experiencing more intense storms and flooding. Recognizing that mitigation alone will not protect us, we have made concerted efforts to adapt to the adverse effects of climate change. We have strengthened building codes, built new coastal defenses, and moved to relocate vulnerable communities all through use of our own national resources. We have also outlined the actions that the Bahamas will take in its efforts to assume responsibility for the country's global greenhouse gas emissions. Among them is the development of indigenous renewable energy resources with the goal of increasing the percentage of renewables in the energy mix to a minimum of 30% by 2030. Hurricane Joaquin slammed into the Bahamas in, in October, leaving an estimated $100 million in damage to the central and southern islands. Joaquin went from a tropical storm to a near Category 5 hurricane in 39 hours. Prime Minister Christie said this amounts to almost 10% of the country's national budget. With 80% of our land within one meter or five feet of mean sea level, Business as usual with regard to climate change threatens the very existence of the Bahamas as we know it. After experiencing Hurricane Joaquin, where the sea rose and took weeks to recede, it is beyond doubt to us the issue we face with the rise of the sea level. It threatens our very existence. The Bahamas and other small island developing states are seeing unprecedented droughts, extreme weather events, accelerating sea level rise, and other life-threatening impacts. And, and based on the science, more intense impacts are to be expected over time. Chrissy said the Bahamas is now more vulnerable to climate change than in the history of that country, adding that already where the global rise in temperature of less than one degree, the Bahamas is experiencing more intense storms and flooding. We must also agree a long-term goal of keeping the average global temperature rise below 1.5 degrees Celsius. The two degrees goal which many espouse will lead to the loss of entire countries. And a 1.5 degree goal is not only desirable, it is achievable and feasible. Let us then send a clear message to the world that we will fight for countries like the Bahamas, to stay on the map into the next century. This existential threat to the survival of a number of small island development states must be explicitly recognized in the Paris Agreement. 